1947, and it's Christmas, and there's this really cool little crane. I walked up to it, turned the crank, pulled a chain, worked it, and played with it, and figured out exactly what, what it was all about. I ended up being an engineer. And I was soldering when I was four years old, and I learned how to weld when I was six. I was 12 when I started working on a Bridgeport mill. For 45 years, my goal has been to build a blender that will not break. As is evidenced by the Will It Blend campaign, I try to destroy things. As I walk through a store or any place I go, I look at something and I say, hmm, I wonder if that will blend. Rubik's Cubes, Coke, rake handles, rotisserie chickens, golf balls. There's no way I'm gonna blend a hockey puck. And my wife said, I think you can do it. So I threw it in the blender, and sure enough, I blended it. What a smell. And then I blended an iPhone. My favorite, however, is glow sticks. That is a 12-hour lantern. I can improve just about any mechanical thing that I see. This is our brand new jar. This is the Wild Side Plus. Isn't this cool? This enhances blending performance. I always had to have the fastest everything. And when I was 15 and a half years old, I found myself sneaking down the driveway with my 650 Triumph motorcycle and went to the Fremont drag strip. I just had to race my motorcycle because I knew I could beat anybody. And so I showed up there. They said, you have to be 18. I said, well, just call my dad. He'll give permission. And so they called, and my mother answered the phone. And I thought, oh, no, this is the end. She had no idea. She thought I was home in bed, and she gave permission for me to race. And I raced, and I was sideways halfway up the drag strip, set a new record for Northern California. And I've never slowed down since. I am always on a mission to perfection. We want to have the best in the world so people can be healthy and happy. <laughs>